All right, welcome everyone to JK's Deal Reveal. And today, matey, we are going to have a unique, a very exciting deal reveal for you because I am in the deal right now. Not, not my deal, but I am literally in the property that is being revealed to you today in the deal reveal. So first of all, last week we had a problem with the sound. I want to make sure. Can you hear me? Let's get that out of the way. Can you hear me in the chat uh, for those of you who are live on the Zoom, uh, let me know. Can you hear me? Yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Simon. Julio Doris and everybody else chiming in. Thank you for letting me know. So welcome to this deal reveal. I'm coming to you live from Davenport, Florida. And I'm going to showcase this property that we are in right now. I've been staying here for the last couple of days. I think it's been four days now. And uh, tomorrow we're heading off to another adventure. Um, but this is a pirate's house, and you're going to see what that's all about in a bit. So for those of you who it's your very first deal reveal, let's get excited. This is an opportunity to come together, learn a little something, get excited about the opportunities that are here right now in front of you, because we are going to learn that real estate doesn't have to be this big complicated mysterious thing we can get a good sense of a deal very very rapidly if we know our fundamentals and so we are looking at deals that are not in canada well you probably know what what jk does i mean we help you invest in the u.s for sometimes four five six eight times the returns of what you would find in canadian real estate and so we are investing when and where the numbers make sense. And today we are gonna look at a deal that was submitted by Mark, okay? Mark actually happens to be the project manager for this property here. So a little bit of context. This is a $700,000 property that I'm in right now. And actually it's gonna cost more than that um, in total because of the special unique factors and qualities that, we're going, that, that are being put into the home. Okay, so and full disclosure, um, this is not the exact address. It's an address nearby just because I don't have uh, the consent of the owner to to put this out there. So let's just say it's very nearby. It's in the same gated community in Davenport, Florida. And for all intents and purposes, in this community, almost all the houses are identical or very similar. And they're all this caliber of house. So deal reveal let us begin your job is to say is this a deal or is this no deal based on your investing criteria so let's jump in what we're going to do here is first i'm going to give you a tour of the house real quick you may have noticed you may have noticed that behind me is not just a regular background so let me first start there and give you the full breakdown. I should probably stop my share and you'll get a full screen here. There we go. Look at this, okay? This is a full wall customized. Oh, let's try not to move too, too much here. Look at that. It's a full blown wall to wall wallpaper mat of pirates. How cool is that? With all the different uh, weaponry it might have with stories and lore and poems and all that fun stuff happening right there. So this is the dining area right here. Large, large table, which walks out onto, it's getting dark out there, but we have a, a, a swim spa. So the pool and the spa is connected, heating each other. We have different um, uh, decorations. And uh, look at we've got a, a pirate's telescope just hanging around, just fun. We have, this is an eight bedroom, six bathroom house uh, built only a couple of years ago. And I don't have access to all the rooms because there's a whole crew of entrepreneurs that are staying in here right now. But just for fun, why don't we step into the arcade, right? We have two, uh, one of those racers. We got that uh, basketball hoop arcade, right? Just in there, there's another, You'll see it here. There's another of uh, those. Uh, you can't really go there because the artists are working. 
This was literally drawn today in front of me. This is an artist that drew this right on the wall of the garage, just there. So the garage converted to an arcade room, pretty cool. That arcade room, probably about $30,000 worth of stuff in there and arcades and so forth. So this is the first floor. And I'm gonna show you a couple of rooms on the second floor here. So we're in the stairs and look at this. There's Captain Morgan. All right. So every single, uh, everything I'm going to show you that you see here, you don't see it all that well, but I'll give you some better shots. Everything you see has been hand drawn by an artist, right? Give it a minute. Look at this. This is a bunk bed, ladies and gentlemen. Right? There's a bed under there, there's a bed up there, and there's specialty lighting happening. So if I turn off the big light, it looks really cool. Look at that. You don't see it all that much, but you can, oh, you do. How cool is that? So this is one of the bedrooms. There are eight bedrooms in this thing, okay? So now we're in the hallway. Look at that. Wow. I saw this being drawn in front of me by the artist. It took her three days just to do this mural right here. That's the hallway, all right? Every single wall. That's the door to the washroom dryer for so long. We have another room here. This one, real quick. This is the mermaid room. Yeah, this is near Orlando. This is in Davenport, Florida. And if again, if we turn off the main light, Ah, oh, it's too dark, but there's a little, there's a little ship back there. You see that? Oh, wait, where am I? Right around here. There's a little model ship that was built with lights put into it. So at night, it's the freaking night light to the, uh, to the room. Now we're in the game room upstairs and we have a, a madam pirate waiting for us. This is all drawn. Of course, we got the pool table. We have here. The skeleton room, okay. All this here. Look at that. Look at that artistry. As I understand, this is the same artist that actually worked in Disney, because as you know, Disney is just one big uh, art piece as well, right? This is another room. This is one I have pretty much access. So this is the treasure room. We got another one here. We got. Of course, our treasure chest full of loot. We have, we have here the, the dresser full of rubies and gold coins. And the top of this thing is made out of gold coins and everything. And of course, we have our two princesses. <laughs> Eliane and Jamie here taking advantage. Uh, a huge home cinema. There's, there. I think there's eight, like one of the really comfortable, you know, cinema chairs, uh, plus two couches in there, and a whole home cinema thing. All right. So, what are we really looking at here? We are looking at a property, a single-family home, all things considered, that costs about seven hundred thousand dollars to buy. Then, costs about another hundred thousand dollars to put all these upgrades these theming staging furnishing customized furniture customize a paranormal whatever that word is para vanilla something like that vanilla paraphernalia i'm inventing words stuff really cool stuff and so this is the deal all right so would you pay say eight hundred thousand dollars us a million dollars for a single family home so let's test this on our fundamentals. Let's test this on our basics. So what do you think of it so far? Let's, let's hear what you think. Is this a, I don't even need to see the numbers. I, I totally buy this any day of the week. Or do we still have to follow our fundamentals, which are buy at a discount and buy cash flow? Right? So at any point, you can chime in and say if this is a deal or no deal for you. So let me get back to my, my screen. 
and we are going to check it out. We're going to check it out. So we start with the address. And even if you didn't have the address, you can start with an address that's nearby. And I recommend you just plop it into Google and follow it with Trulia. Because the first thing is we want to make sure we're not buying in a war zone. Now, if you're buying million dollar properties, likely not. But we are going here and we're following our basics. We're going to go see the crime, our reported crime. The less color you see, the less crime Z it is. So as you can see, we're in the lowest, no surprise there. I like to look a little bit larger to see what the general area, obviously this is gated community style. This is, yeah, I'm not concerned about crime, but we passed the crime check, so we're happy about that. Second is we are going to check uh, the value of this property. So in a similar fashion, you can type in the address and go to Zillow, go to Total View Real Estate, go to Redfin, go to realtor.com, go to one or many of your favorite websites, which give you a sense of what the property is worth. So I'm just gonna go to Zillow here. And so we have the specs. Uh, it, this one actually doesn't have his estimate. Oh, how interesting is that? So if you don't have his estimate, don't worry, you can go uh, into the comparable homes section and go a little bit more manually to find out. So our subject property is nine bedrooms, five bathrooms. So we're looking for ideally sold comparables, nine bedrooms, um, five bathrooms that sold. Here's one that sold for 705,000. Here's one that sold for uh, 574 on the same street. Interesting. Another one on the same street, 575, 95. Now we're, at, we're in 85 territory. So a little bit less comparable. Oh, here's one on Wexford, um, very nearby 740. Interesting. For those of you who've been also um, listening to the last couple of deal reveals, I featured the property that we have under contract that we're, we should be buying in the next couple of weeks. That's very similar to this one, not themed yet because we're going to theme it. And we have it under contract for $679,000. So as you can see here, comparables seem to be shooting around the 700-ish mark. Uh, these two are, are are lower for some reason. I'd look into it, but this was sold two months ago for 705. And this one was sold seven days ago for 740. The market right now in Florida and specifically in, in Davenport and these areas for these type of properties has been crazy over the last two years. This going going up about 20% per year. And these are not small fry properties that are worth $50,000. This same property two years ago might have been selling for 500, 550. And now there's some being sold for 740. Like those are the type of uh, inflation and appreciation uh, booms that we've been seeing. This is speculative. Is it going to continue? Is it going to drop? I don't know, but this is what has been happening. We like to say it's the cherry on top. So we're looking at it. It's uh, it's worth, it looks to be 700, maybe a little bit more than 700 if that one just sold seven days ago. And so this property, to my knowledge, was bought somewhere in the um, low sixes was the purchase price for this property. So it looks like the people who bought, bought at a discount. So right then and there, we got our first rule of real estate satisfied. Second is cash flow. Month after month, is this going to pay me? Or am I going to have to pay it after I count for taxes, insurance, management, maintenance, utilities, mortgage, and any shit buffer budget you want to put in, in play? So cash flow. This one is going to be, uh, well, as you remember, the typical way we go to rental meter, we, uh, we plop in the address, we put in the number of bedrooms that, that we have. We can't even go up to nine bedrooms. Um, but this gives us the long-term rental rates of a property. So this property rents for three-ish to four-ish thousand a month with a long-term tenant. But as you can, as you might have guessed by now, we're not going to put a long-term tenant into a pirate house. This is a house that's going to be a short-term rental property. It's going to be an Airbnb, vacation rental, VRBO, that type of property. And that's going to command four. Five, six hundred dollars a night, maybe even in the high season, a thousand, 
$1,500 a night, depending on the quality of the pictures and the work and the reviews, the ratings that come on the back end. So for this property, the expectation is to be around a $550 to $600 a night average. So if you take in the high seasons, Christmas, New Year's, you know, uh, late December, $1,000, $1,200 a night bookings and the vacancies because it's not 100% occupied with the short-term rental model. So let's just do some, some quick math here. So let's say our average is $500 a night. Well, there are 365 nights a year. Okay. So that means there's a gross income potential of 182,000, but this is based on hundred percent occupancy. So let's say we're just a little better than average. No, actually not even, let's say we're a little worse than average and have a 60% occupancy. This property can generate $109,000 gross a year. I threw that quickly. And it does take some more extensive market research to figure out why this property would be a $500 a night booking or six or seven or eight. And in the past, I've pointed to you to airdna.co. I've also pointed you to look at comparables on Airbnb that are comparable. But that's the thing. With these type of properties themed to this level, it's very difficult. There's not very many comparables. And that's what we want to do. We want to really be in the 1%, in the top 1%, so that there is no competition. This house, if it wasn't themed, it would rent for maybe 200, 250 a night on average. But because the theming goes in, we basically double its return on, a, on, a, on an annual basis. So in one year, a little over 100,000 gross a year. I think that's a very comfortable number for this property. And from here, we're going to have to subtract taxes, insurance, management, ma maintenance, mortgage, which is going to be a big chunk because we're basically putting in $700,000 to buy this, plus maybe another $100,000 theme. So it's a big mortgage, uh, utilities, and any other uh, contingency or buffers you want to put into your numbers. And so... <clears throat> I actually, uh, I shared with you in the past what those numbers might look like, and I think it's relevant to share it again. Let me take a little bit of time and give you the full view here of what we can expect. Uh, let me pull that up. Actually, I wasn't planning on sharing this again, but I, I think it gives, for those of you who are here for the first time, it really gives a good view of what's, uh, what's happening. So, so, so we are here. Okay, so we got this property. So this is what we can expect, for example. Um, very similar income to what I just stated. This is another property that, that is themed to the hilt. Um, similar mortgage. So let's say there's $30,000 in mortgage. Insurance, two or 3,000. The quote we got for ours was 3,000. Everything's going up right now. The air conditioning bill, the water bill, add in another handful of thousands. Commissions on bookings, right? So your manager and the commissions there's the Airbnb commissions, but there's also the manager who's going to take some commissions. And if you see here, we're in the range of 15%, which is, which is average. Um, you don't see too, too much below that, but you definitely do see higher. So this is actually an aggressive management. So hopefully they're doing a good job. You have the HOA fees. This is a gated community. I forgot to say this, this house is in, is in Champions Gate. Champions Gate has a clubhouse. Has, um, a, has a cinema theater uh, with movies every single day for kids and so forth in the clubhouse, like the whole in the dark, super comfortable chairs, cinema. It's got obviously the restaurant and the bar. It's got an arcade room. It's got uh, two gyms. It, got, it has a gym for owners and it has a gym for guests because this is one of those communities that does accept short-term rental bookings. Not all of them do. It's got a lazy river. It's got two pools. It's got a spa. It's got uh, volleyball courts. It's got a golf course. It has a driving range. It has a putting range. These are all amenities that come with um, being an owner and, or a renter, a guest in one of these facilities. And so that's why there's HOAs to pay, right? Homeowner association fees and um, and just other fees to, to have access to all of those amenities. Then 
you know, uh, administrative management, some maintenance on the property and your taxes to pay. But you'll notice that these expenses, other than the mortgage and the commissions, those are the big chunks, but the rest isn't that high considering the, the income it generates, the ratio. So when we look at a duplex in, in Cleveland for $70,000, the insurance is about 1000 <laughs> even though the value is 10 times less. Um, you know, your, your, your utility bills, if you pay for water, sewer, gas, and electric, um, those could definitely run you into these numbers a year into the three, $4,000 range on a duplex. Um, your management is 10% instead of 15 maintenance. We like to say a hundred dollars a month for uh, singles or duplexes. So not that far off on management. These are new homes. So there's less management, but they're bigger things. So when they do break, they cost more and so forth. So you know, they have a $200 a month budget here, fine. And taxes, 8,000, where in Cleveland, it could range significantly from $500 for a triplex a year to, I uh, just saw a, um, I think it was a duplex, one of the partners I had a call with today, it was a duplex that had $7,000 of taxes on this small duplex with 120,000. So in ratio, these expenses are quite reasonable. So all this to say that there's a, a lot more income coming in on one side. The expenses are there and we add them all up. We have say 70,000 of expenses, which could leave us with a, an NOI, your net operating income in one year in the tune of $50,000. So we buy at a discount and we have $50,000 of cash flow, which is basically $4,000 a month. Would $4,000 a month cash flow change your life. This is one property, one management. It's not a portfolio of 50 properties to manage. This is one, right? So let's make sure we do it right. But um, that's one consideration. The other thing is, well, how much money did you have to put in the deal to get that fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 of cash flow, right? So let's do some basic maths together just to size up how much this type of an opportunity can cost as well. All right, let me just move some pictures out of the way here. So we have say a $700,000 property and um, we're going to go get some financing and let's say we get 70% loan to value. A bank is uh, can, can loan to us 70% of its value. So they're going to give us a mortgage of almost $500,000. But that means that the difference, $210,000, is what we're going to have to bring to the table as a down payment. $210,000 US is the down payment on this bad boy. Then we have to put in another $100,000 to spice it up, right? To put the, the sexy artist work and the, the customized bunk beds and all this extra thing. So to jump into this type of property, you better have about $300,000 US had to back you up. This is a good chunk of money, right? Not everyone's sitting on that type of cash, obviously, but this is where, and if you've been following us for a while, you know that we've been pioneering, pun intended, we've been pioneering um, a program that allows Canadians to use their RSPs and TFSAs, tax-free savings account funds, and use those without breaking it, without any penalty, and applying it towards a real estate transaction in the States. So we are buying this first property with $100,000 of our own RSPs, and our partner is bringing another $100,000. Our other partner is bringing $50,000. And together, poof, we have the down payment and the theming, and uh, we're good to go. So we're, for those of you who have access to RSP Capital, this could be a very interesting uh, approach to get a good chunk of cash flow without touching your available liquidity. Because most people who invested in RSPs, that money was locked in. They never thought they were going to touch it. And some people have it locked in like at 3%, some terrible rates at 4%, 5% even is, is terrible on a long-term uh, scope. What's really interesting with what we're doing is the RSPs that you use are being applied for the down payment. They are, um, you basically owing yourself 8% interest on it. 
meaning this property is going to cash flow. So of the profits, you're going to pay yourself a return, which means that your RSPs continue to grow at an 8% rate year after year. And that's in a tax-free or tax-deferred vehicle. So don't touch your, I mean, uh, you're not touching your available liquidity because you're using already locked up funds. You're not getting a penalty. It's still growing. And you get an amazing property, strong cash flow. Ideally, you bought it at a discount. You tap into hopefully some appreciation along the way. You can say you own a freaking pirate house. And when you, your family, your friends, your godchildren, your parents want to stay in, in Florida, well, you can take a look at the calendar or you could block it off. You're the owner. You decide when this becomes rentable to people or not. So for all these reasons, tell me, is this a deal or no deal for you? Deal or no deal, a little bit longer uh, than our usual deal reveal, but tell me what you think. Excellent. Renault's like, show me the numbers. Yes, that was earlier on. Roberta says, I've actually seen better, better deals. That's fantastic. Excellent. Bring them, bring them to the deal reveal. I'd love to take a look at them. Yes, for a fourth of the price of the deal. Uh, Julio says, super deal. Renato's convinced now. Huge deal. Brad, deal. Roberta says, never mind. Uh, Kajal, deal, of course. And it goes on. Wonderful. Well, thank you, everyone. That is today's deal reveal. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you also are considering joining our bus tour that's coming in February, right? For those of you who've been on our Cleveland bus tour before, uh, well, this one's not in Cleveland. This one's going to be in Florida. And I understand there are travel uh, considerations, but we're going to do everything we can to still have it. And we'd love to have you. Uh, we'd like to have at least 30, maybe up to 60 people on this tour to go check out properties like this one, maybe even this one. Um, it's not exactly finished yet, so maybe this one will be finished. Ours, I would like to showcase ours and other ones, some properties for sale, some properties being uh, themed, some properties that are just cool. Get to see the features of these gated communities and so forth. So if joining the bus tour is of interest to you, we were considering before the restrictions came in to actually charge our regular price for these bus tours, which are a couple thousand dollars per ticket. But we've actually decided to absorb the costs of you know, the, the conference room, the bus, the gas, obviously the time, the organization, our admin assistants, our, our co-hosts, we're absorbing the cost for you. So if you're interested to join this tour, just let us know you're interested with a firm commitment that you will come. If you say we're gonna reserve a spot for you, so if you say you come, please do come. But if you're interested, just send us an email, info at nowfortomorrow.club and we'll RSVP your spot. First come, first serve. If you just want to chime into the chat right now to secure your spot, you can just chime in right now. Otherwise, send us an email, info at nowfortomorrow.club and that's what, um, that's what we're going to do. And to Simon's question, um, no, we're not looking to sell this property. This is a property we want to buy and hold for the cash flow. So that's the bus tour. For those of you who are just starting, this is your first deal reveal. I'm like, oh my God, it went so fast. And what are those basics he's talking about? Well, the blueprint is where you start this whole journey. It's our two day of content. We've got over 16 hours of, of content, plus all the bonuses we put in there. There's a ton of value. If you're seriously looking into US real estate investing, Check out the blueprint, absorb its content, tap into the resources we've laid out for you, like the attorney, the CPA, the, the loan brokers, the strategies, negotiations, communications, the quick math, the long math, the, the spreadsheets, all of it. Go check it out. It's there for you. N14.club slash blueprint. Our tickets are still very, very um, cheaply priced for the value we're providing as a courtesy to you during COVID times. As you know, those of you who heard our story, we paid thousands, tens of thousands of dollars for this, um, for this value. We're giving it to you for, for pennies. So this is the first step um, to get started. And we'd love for you to get started and have some fun in the process. So that was our deal reveal. Hope you uh, have yourself a wonderful, wonderful evening. And we'll see you next Thursday. We'll try to bring on uh, one, of our, uh, one of our community members with their recent deal that they closed, if we can coordinate schedule. 
And if you have a deal that, that you'd like me to feature on our deal reveals, just send us an email or go to our website in our contact form. Just put in the address and as little or as much information as you want to give. And I'm going to spend five, 10 minutes on it. I spent a little bit more because it's a pretty sexy property here. But uh, in five to 10 minutes, we get a good sense of what's happening. So you can jump in, pick up the phone, start having conversations, negotiate, make some friends, make some deals and change your life. So that's it. Kyle Doolin, JK's Real Estate Partners, checking out, wishing you the very best and recommending that you go get your miracle now for tomorrow. Take care, everyone, and see you soon.